today's episode brethren do you know that whatever you desire whether it's for your ministry for yourself family business it can all be found and pulled out from within you in today's article the 11th of June pastor Chris admonishes us to bring forth good things let's take a look at Philemon chapter 1 verse 6 the Bible says that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 12, verse 35, A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. You see, the good things you're expecting to happen are actually inside you. Bring them forth. There's no point saying, Oh Lord, bless, please bless my business. Please give my family more favor. No, he's already did everything he was supposed to do. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 3, The works were finished from the foundation of the world. Just enter into that which has been written concerning you. The Bible talks about good things that are in you in Christ Jesus. Let's take a look at our opening scripture again. It says that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. What God expects is for you to step into which has already been written concerning you by declaring, I have only good things inside me. And from within me, I produce good things. So I'm a package of good things. When I arrive, good things start happening. If they were already happening, I bring in additional ones. Hallelujah. Think like this and practice it because it's the truth. Glory to God. Now, wherever you are, you can lift up your holy hands and go ahead and confess this. Say, I bring forth good things today from within me and in all that I do I exude excellence perfection and righteousness I have insight into mysteries and secrets as I bring forth creative ideas and divine prosperity from within in Jesus' name, Amen. As always, we encourage you to conduct your further studies daily. When we continually feed on the Word, we are able to number one, renew our minds, two, build our faith, and number three, build up our character. Your success and prosperity that God has ordained for you depends on how much of His Word you know and put to work in your life. It's about your knowledge and application of the Word. So for today, you can look into Matthew chapter 5 verse 16, Matthew chapter 12 verse 35, and Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Thank you for tuning in today, brethren. If you would like a physical copy of the Rhapsody of Realities, kindly email us at tnimsia at gmail.com and we'll guide you on how you can acquire one. Email us at the same email address if you're interested in translation work or sponsoring the Rhapsody of Realities. Praise God. May the Lord increase you more and more. In Jesus' name, Amen.
never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Giving you life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody